It is still early in 2015, but unfortunately, we have already hit a grim milestone on Minnesota roads. ABC 6 News reporter John Deckott looks into the number of traffic deaths so far this year and why we're ahead of last year. In less than four months, 100 people have died on Minnesota roads in 2015. That's according to the Minnesota Department of Public Safety and represents an increase from 92 deaths at this time last year. Over the last five years, speed has been a factor in one out of every five fatalities. Distracted driving played a role in one in four deaths, and not wearing a seatbelt continues to be a major problem, accounting for about half of all fatalities. There's a reason why we want you to wear your seatbelt. Should you get into an accident, the probability of uh, less injuries caused from that accident by wearing your seatbelt are tremendous. Those who've lost loved ones in traffic collisions know the pain they can cause, including Rita Siha, who lost five of her closest family and friends to a drunk driver. With prom season in full swing, Siha recently spoke to a group of teenagers about the dangers of drinking and driving. Every day is a reminder because of a drunk driver's choice. I don't have a life that I used to have. Every 15 minutes, someone in the United States dies from a drunk driver. Although already outpacing 2014, driving deaths typically spike during summer months, which has law enforcement officials urging drivers to use caution. And the sun is shining, the road looks great, uh, but even now, yet this time of year, there's some sand or even gravel on portions of the road. And if you're not familiar with the road, those are conditions that you should anticipate. In Austin, John Detcott, ABC 6 News.